Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. In this video, we'll explore the following new features in eDrawMax Online, version 11.5.0. Let's begin with the template community. The old template center has been upgraded to a new template community with a brand new user interface and powerful full text search capabilities. In this version, you can find templates much easier and faster than before. As you can see, the new search bar, featured template collections, and new categories are added in the new template community. Next, let's take a tour of the editor's featured collections. You can see all collections of templates segregated under different topics as shown. You can see trending collections and find well-designed templates in each collection. Another enhancement is on the template page. In this version, you can see the templates much clearer. The template can be zoomed in and out as shown. You can press Ctrl and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The next update is improved experience in the template community. You'll feel more engaged in the new community. This community allows you to follow or unfollow any creator you like. You can also view all the designs published by a creator on their page. You can also comment on templates now as shown. The next enhancement is in the symbol library. You can find symbol libraries published by other creators on the main page of the template community as shown. Now you can publish your own symbols to the template community. For that, create a new library, drag and drop the symbols onto the canvas. Select the symbols and right-click to add to the new symbol library created as shown. You can publish the new symbol library by right-clicking and choosing Publish. Input required details and hit Publish. The symbol library will be posted in the template community after approval by the content team. Now let's explore new diagram features. A new feature has been added under the Roadmap Diagram Type. Navigate to the Roadmap Diagram Type as shown. The different stages of the roadmap can be distinguished by swim lanes, which are divided into three stages, preparation, in progress, and completion. You can directly drag the card symbols from the symbol library on the left into the roadmap as needed. The card symbols allow you to input specific items such as title, detailed content, label, person in charge, deadline, and current progress as shown. Now let's look at the new feature under the electrical diagram type. From new, navigate to engineering, choose electrical engineering, and select basic electrical. Let me draw a simple circuit to explain the new feature. When you create a connector from a symbol to another line in the electrical diagram, you will find a black dot on the drawing junction. The next enhancement has been made to the organization chart. Follow these steps to navigate to the organization chart. In order to insert pictures into the title cards, browse for the pictures. In this new version, you can select multiple images at once. Once you have the pictures on the drawing board, you can choose the picture of your choice and hover over the title card. The picture automatically gets fitted into the title card as shown. Now let's look at new diagram types. 
The first one is the roadmap. Navigate to the roadmap diagram as shown. Select any of the diagrams from the templates. There are colorful stickers available in the symbol library. You can drag and drop the symbols onto the roadmap. They'll automatically stick to the roadmap. No matter where you put the roadmap, the stickers will stay on the map. The second one is the risk management diagram. Navigate to the risk management diagram as shown. You can choose any template based on your needs. Type in your analysis information and visualize your analysis. The third one is the project timeline. Navigate to the project timeline diagram as shown. Choose any of the diagrams from the templates below. You can make your own project timeline easily by using the timeline symbol in the symbol library now. The fourth is the User Research Diagram. Navigate to User Research Diagram. You can find different user research templates. Select any of the diagrams from the templates to fit your needs. The fifth one is the Course Learning Diagram. Navigate to the course learning diagram as shown. You can find multiple planner templates to plan your study and work. There are colorful canvas templates available in the symbol library to create more visualizing diagrams. Now let's look into the template update. This new version has updated templates and symbols in different diagram categories. You can see updated templates and an updated symbol library under the project timeline. Next, you'll see enhancements made to templates under the project calendar. Now you're looking at the updated templates for the relationship matrix. Now we'll see the updates made to Gantt charts. Now the Gantt chart is updated with six new themes as shown. Similarly, you can see the updated templates and symbols under the org chart as shown. These are all the new features in eDraw Max Online version 11.5.0, which makes your diagramming much easier. Please visit the eDraw Max website to try it free, and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos.